That is just coming in. There's a suicide attack reported in Karachi's Landi area. The attack took place on a moving van of a private company that was carrying reportedly foreign employees. Police say one suicide bomber detonated himself. All foreigners are reported to be safe. Suicide attack, it was followed by firing as well. This is the latest that we're getting at the moment. This is the news that's coming in. There's a suicide attack that was reported in Karachi's Landi area. This attack it apparently took place on a moving van of a private company that was carrying foreign employees. The police, as per the police, they say the suicide bomber detonated himself. There was also rep uh, reportedly firing that followed the suicide attack. As of now, from what we do know, all foreigners are reported to be safe at the moment. These are the visuals that we're getting from Karachi, as you can see on your screens right now. The police says that the foreigners at the moment are safe. This was a suicide attack that was reported in Karachi a short while ago. One of the bombers detonated himself. It was followed by firing as well. You can see these visuals, ambulances, crowds that have gathered here in Karachi. These are the visuals that we're getting at the moment. We're, of course, also going to be getting you all the ground updates on this in a short while from now. These are the details that we have at the moment, that there was a suicide attack that was reported in Karachi's Landi area. The attack it took place on a moving van of a private company carrying foreign employees. All right, let me bring you the latest that we have at the moment. These are the visuals on your screens from Karachi. What we do know that there was a suicide attack that was reported in Karachi. This attack, it took place on a moving van of a private company. We're, of course, waiting for more details on this. They were carrying foreign employees. So more on this, we're also now being joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief, Anas Malik. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Anas, what do we know? Well, what we know so far is that at least... Uh four Japanese nationals were tra traveling in this van that was moving from Karachi's Clifton area, post locality, towards Port Qasim uh, of Karachi, one of the two ports in Karachi. And uh, on the way near Landi's, um, Landi area's Mansera colony is where the van came under attack, a targeted attack. Uh, they were fi the van was fired with guns, uh, but fortunately enough, it was being guarded by the guards, private security guards who had uh, repelled the attack. Uh, and just as when they had reached a speed breaker, that is when uh, when an explosion happened. Now, fortunately enough, all four uh, Japanese nationals on board that van are said to be safe. Uh, the only two people killed are the attackers, one uh, which who was firing and the other being the suicide bomber. Uh, a bag has been found as well from near or to one of the attackers who's been neutralized. Uh, and the bag is said to have been containing uh, an SMG rifle uh, and uh, some hand grenades as well. Uh, now, the police have confirmed that all four Japanese nationals are safe and unharmed, whereas two security guards, private security guards, are currently injured one of them being the driver of the van as well who is said to be critical him uh, right anas now i just want to get some more clarity on this so you said that there were two attackers one who detonated himself the other that uh, was firing one you say was neutralized at the moment what do we know about the people that were involved in this do we have any clarity on what the motive could be not not right now uh, there is no organization who has claimed uh, this as yet uh, it looks it could perhaps be an apparent case of mistaken identity uh, for the fact that uh, uh, we've seen that uh, for a while that ja Chinese nationals have been atta under attack in the country uh, so the Japanese nationals could have been mistaken for being Chinese but then again a bit too early to conclude that that being said uh, uh, what we exactly know so far is that while we await a claim for uh, a former claim from uh, any terror organization for this heinous act of terror, uh, what we for, for sure know is that at least three people are said to be injured in this heinous act of terror, two of them being from the private security company, one of them being uh, a passerby. Two among them, uh, two among uh, the uh, from the security company being uh, one of the drivers who is currently said to be very, very critical. Hey. All right. Well, Anas, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this right now. Of course, we'll continue to track the developments on that front as well. 
For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.